My name is Mariette De Cristina. I have two roles. One is I'm the editor-in-chief of Scientific American, a magazine that was started in 1845. And the other is I'm director of editorial and publishing for magazines at Nature Research. And in that capacity of that role, I oversee a team of 160 around the world. My first job was as a newspaper reporter, and I have gone through the years, been a, been a reporter, been an editor, and now a manager of teams. One of the things I absolutely love about that is all of those skills I still use every day. Every day I'm doing a bit of writing, I'm doing a bit of reporting, I'm trying to support people through my management, and all I can say to you is, uh, no matter what, whatever you do, you should find the same kind of joy in your answer to what you want to do with your life. All of those critical soft skills are still as important today as they were when I first started. The things I am able to do read something and analyze it, think about it critically, share it with other people. Those skills are absolutely, were as absolutely important when I got started as they are today. In fact, I mentioned I still do a bit of reporting, still do a bit of writing, still do it. So all of these skills, which I started in one way, I now use as a manager in, an, uh, in another. I think it starts with where your passion lies. You have to find that because anything that you're going to do, and one thing I felt was really important was I had to love it because how can you be successful if you don't absolutely love it? So that's quite core. And then what are the things that you, um, you know, so find the things you love and then what are the, the skills you have that you can apply to the thing that you love? If you don't have them, go find them. It's not rocket science really. One of the things that I found really quite shocking when I left university is there were no more semesters. No more breaks, you know, no more month off around the holiday. It was just every day, which is where it becomes so important that what you do, you really love. Luckily, I did come out with the skills of analytical thinking. Before I graduated from university, I even took a couple of law school level kind of classes. I focused on constitutional law because I was interested in it, but the important thing there was the process of law. How do people think? How do they um, line up a rationale or an argument for a case they make? And actually understanding how to express a rationale in any format is, is really vital no matter what topic you're working on. A thing I would have told my younger self is, good news! The things that you love, you can actually do as a career. And not only that, you'll be plenty good enough for it too. All you have to do is work hard, be a little stubborn sometimes, and persevere, and you can get there.